Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Indian Navy has been working alongside with ADA to indigenously develop a deck-based fighter aircraft which can operate from its aircraft carriers. Even though Navy has withdrew formally from LCA program, it continues to work with ADA on development of naval LCA as most of its technology will be used in TEDBF aircraft. Indian Navy has set Naval Project Office at Bengaluru, which was initially coordinating for Naval LC project and is now monitoring the TEDBF progress. The initial prototypes of Naval LC, which is NP-1 and NP-2, are the Air Force fighter jets converted into Naval variant. However, the third prototype, which is NP-5, is being designed especially for Navy. While LC Navy is only a technology demonstrator, but it showcases that India has developed the niche technologies specific to deck-based fighter operation and this will pave the way to develop and manufacture the TEDBF. The off-nominal landing trials, for example, which is conducted and which is to be conducted, sorry, using NP-5 and analysis of various stress points will be crucial for development of the landing gears for TEDBF. Some of the distinguishing features of naval LCA is the robust landing gear and the arrestor hook which is used during the landing. So while ADA has mastered these two technologies of tech-based fighter aircraft, the another technology was foldable wings which is new and not present in naval LCA. During Aero India 2023, Girish S. Deodar, Director General of Aeronautical Development Agency has told that the wing folding design mechanism of TEDBF has been finalized. Also, during the Aero India, we have observed significant changes in TEDBF design and its specifications. One of the major observations from Aero India 2023 has been change in the design of TEDBF. The earlier design of TEDBF has showcased the unfolded wingspan of 11.2 meters and folded wingspan of 7.6 meter. As for the new specification, the unfolded wingspan is of 11.6 meter and folded wingspan is of 8.3 meter. The overall wingspan has been increased by 0.4 meter. The new wing area of TEDBF is now 53.5 square meters. Also, earlier the length of aircraft was reported to be 16.3 meter, which has been increased to 17 meters in the new specification. The height of aircraft is going to be 5.65 meters. So while there has been change in overall dimension and the new design shows that TEDBF will be a bigger aircraft, its maximum takeoff weight is going to be same that is 26 tons with external stores of 7.5 tons where it can carry weapons and drop tanks. The aircraft will have 12 hardpoints. Another change observed in the specification was related to its flight altitude. The earlier specification showed that aircraft will have altitude of 60,000 feet but the new specification states it to be 55,000 feet. The new design seems to be much more refined design of TEDBF incorporating the features of AMC and Rafale. Some visible changes are also noticeable in the nose cone and DSI intake which looks much better. Besides changes in specifications, few more details were shared about TEDBF fighter aircraft and these were that it will have network centric capability along with multi-sensor data fusion integrated with advanced sensor like an AAS radar, IRST, Unified Electronic Warfare Suite and Missile Approach Warning System. As per latest reports, the Aeronautical Development Agency has planned to submit the preliminary design review of TEDBF to the government and Indian Navy by mid of this year. The critical design review of TEDBF will happen sooner when compared with AMCA as the former has got many LRUs that is line replacement units and components borrowed from the AMCA program. ADA and Naval Chief both are confident that TEDBF prototype will roll out by 2026 and a fighter jet will be ready to enter production by 2031. A proposal for TEDBF prototype development is likely to be taken up by cabinet committee on security soon with the Navy's requirement expected to be around of 100 aircrafts. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, 
I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.